What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today I'm going to do a really quick video on an important topic and this has been a topic of debate. And honestly, I, th I think for the most part, it, it falls under the realm of subjectivity and personal preferences. I'm not gonna say that how I choose to do things to answer the question of this video and the topic is the objective and 100% way that everybody has to do it. So let me know what you think in the comments, but for me, I'm going to show you um, how I approach design in the context of dealing with layouts uh, responsively for different devices. Do I start with a mobile first design, a layout, and then work my way up to from tablets, desktop, etc., or do I do the opposite, which is kind of design the full experience first and then work my way down? Well, it is I work my way down, all right? So here's a design. Uh, this is actually from a, a project in the designcourse.com curriculum. By the way, check that out um, at designcourse.com. Uh, and Typically, I always start uh, with a desktop first design mentality. Now that's not to be confused with front end development like HTML and CSS. Actually, when I do that, I do mobile first, but we'll talk about that in a different video. But the reason I, I work my way uh, down and I start with the full experience on all you know the, the, the great width that we have and all the space that we have for a desktop is because it's easier for me to remove things than it is to add things, all right? So what do I mean by that? Well, typically in a mobile design, a mobile design will be uh, more simplistic and it'll be more stripped down. So when you start with that, uh, you're usually going to be adding things um, and the layout may become a little bit more complex when we're just when we're talking about going from a bunch of rows where things are stacked on each other um, versus columns where things are aligned uh, to the right and left of each other. Um, and so if I start here, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me to make the mental leap um, to go to something that's a little bit more complex. And so that's the primary reason. Um, now, I know some people say, well, you know, most of the web traffic, traffic is mobile, so you have to start mobile first. Well, two things, two thoughts on that. First is, I, that's not the case every time. You have to look at your, your website's analytics um, and this could be for a client or your own personal project, whatever. If you have access to that, that's gonna inform you based on your audience and your website type, uh, the split between mobile and desktop. For, for instance, designcourse.com, I think it's like 80%, 80, 85% of people are on desktop actually. Um, but even having said that, let's say for instance, most people were uh, visiting my uh, website from mobile. That doesn't mean that when I start here designing on desktop that I'm not thinking about how these columns will collapse into rows. You can definitely make the mental leap uh, when you're designing the full experience first. Uh, so again, when we're considering the differences between uh, a desktop design and a mobile design, you know the primary considerations or the, the primary differences are just going to be columns versus rows, you know? Uh, over here, because of all the space we have, the width, we have a lot of columns because we can set things, you know, aside from each other, or uh, not aside from each other, but next to each other. Um, over here, things just collapse into rows because we don't have the width. We only have this small portion uh, to go from. So for me, much easier to get the full experience first and then simplify as I go down. And another thing you'll notice, like for instance on tablet, um, the layout may stay the same, but maybe I just have less white space. So if you look at the cards, we have a lot of white space around, and then things are just kind of scaled down with less white space here, and then we just finally work our way down here. It would be much more difficult for me to go from this to this, rather than from going this to this, if that makes sense. All right, so hopefully that quick little video um, will help you all out if you're trying to make the determination, if you're starting out as a designer, you know, where you should start designing first. Uh, for me, that's that's exactly how I like to do it, desktop first. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you disagree, uh, and as, along with your experiences, um, maybe if you've tried both approaches, what did you personally find easier? Let me know in the comments. Uh, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet to learn UI UX design in an interactive setting, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.